Hi dear friends, this is Wasim Isa. I hope you are doing great. So I'm uh, here with you today to uh, introduce you to the um, tarot deck I have been studying with the group Tarot of, the, uh, of Mystical Moments. So um, first, I have started studying this deck according to the challenge that I have created here in this book, 365 day challenge with Tarot Oracle that is called uh, Get to Know Your Deck in 21 Days. So I didn't do all the challenge because uh, I wanted to, to do the short version, <laughs> uh, but I'm here to share with you some thoughts I had. If you are thinking about getting, getting this deck or just, you know, want to enjoy the mystical, a uh, mystical moment with me <laughs> and this deck. So first, um, I was trying to cut the deck into different sections so that I can show you um, a bit of the spirit of this deck. And one of the things that I have noticed um, is that what attracted me to it is nature. Um, this deck is really filled with nature, filled with flowers and uh, beautiful colors. Look at this card. It's one of my favorites in this deck. And alongside with these three uh, they have put out, um, the colors, the, the, the people here, um, it's very beautiful deck and it there is like a lot of variety in it um so when i noticed this like the the flowers the the presence of these colors the, the animals there are a lot of animals in this deck even if you don't notice it you know sometimes there are things that appear more than others when you when you discover a deck but it is filled it is filled with animals just like look at this the, at this card we, we've got some rabbits here uh let's see if we have some other you have birds you have uh, fish horse butterflies and these are only in these cards right um and you got you got many other animals birds are quite present in this deck and this um you will notice the air element um, is something central in this deck. So you find a lot of birds. Um, every every card or so you will find birds. And I don't know all the name of these birds. I would love, I mean, maybe you, you know better than me uh, the names of, <laughs> of them, of these, of these beautiful beings. Uh, butterflies also present, but um, we've got some swallow, some pigeons probably and so on and th th the thing is that mm, the presence of these of these birds um, bring this this feeling that this deck is about the air ether uh, the ethereal realm right but there are other animals too like this weird card uh, some particip participants talked about it. it is a weird card uh, the other thing is that you will notice that um, there is a mix of plants and animals sometimes in the constitution of the, the beings of this deck. So um, let me find an example. So you you've, you might think that this is an angel, right? Or, or the inner child or something, but we have to admit that there are wings to the beings. So there is like this. Um, so let me check if, oh, yeah. For example, this 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 lady here, who has the peacock also peacock merging with the lady, and the birds also merging with. So so there is like this. Um, you notice here this lady. I don't know if she's. No, there is no uh, merging thing. Maybe more this one. And this one also a snake being. And this one is like flower, flower and the lady at the same time. And she has the baby. It's a beautiful card. And this one also. So there is this, um, this veil that is removed. And we can see the spirit in these beings or animals. Or maybe they are just like a, a merging, like a, a merging the human with the animal um, or maybe getting out some attributes right uh, so this deck there is something about getting out of the logic getting out of the world that we know 
um, removing the veils or removing the limits uh, that, that comes with it. And also uh, something about getting to the real thing, uh, the reality of the things, because there is a lot of, um, you will see a lot of beings, we see the interior, we see the inside and they are just, uh, they are still alive which invites us to readjust, like there is an invitation to readjust our vision or readjust uh, um, our whole being to the truth of who we are, to adjust our actions, um, to see the truth within, being naked. Um, so, so yeah, so this is a beautiful invitation, I feel like, from this deck. Um, another element, so I'm, I'm, I'm going on element by one, right? Talks about the ether, the air, the nakedness of the being. But there is also something interesting is that um, you find, oh, this is the pile I wanted to show. You find a lot of small beings, right? Um, th there is this presence of big beings and small humans. Um, which might suggest that you know there are different levels of perception of a reality you can perceive it from high or from small or maybe there is this uh, mm, perception of uh, the small reality we live in versus the biggest reality i don't like this car the emperor because he is like um pulling people by ch ch chains, which for me, an emperor should more like listen and embrace and move all together instead of bringing all these people by chain. So th there is something about manipulation also coming in when we talk about these small beings here. Still, um, the presence of this small and big, it, it brings me to, to see like there is, there is something about um mm, how to say it maybe maybe this deck wants us to to realize that the world we are living in is just like meaningless and very small comparing to what is happening all in other spaces other dimensions that sometimes we don't know about right if we don't visit other dimensions we don't know about them we just see them in our dreams and still we question is it this real? Is it just a dream, which means imaginary, imagination? But um, what if the world that we are living in is just an imagination? <laughs> what is if this? What if this is the real world? <laughs> um, anyway, so th there is another element also that um, came to came to to my mind when I was uh, exploring this deck is the. Uh, the high the, the height i talked about the air element but there is like the suspension in air of many beings and and the presence of a lot of beings over the buildings again uh striking at that point of um higher seeing things from higher perspective uh see the smallness of your the world you are living in and get higher connect to the stars there's the, you see like just these these cards where these um, these beings all over the buildings right and uh, there is the the balance right uh, there is the vision or the dream and the responsibility uh, and there is the vision uh, that is in this card um, let me see there is this balance again that is coming here that we can find in this card and there is the judgment card also with the buildings. So, so you find quite, you know, like you, you find the spirit of, of, of values to live in the real world, <laughs> we call the real world in here, but you find them here. Another point is that um, you will find this suspension in the air quite often present. Um, this is kind of interesting card, but yeah, let me organize them. So yeah, so so you find this this type of suspension in air, the feathers. For me, 
present a lot in the swords uh, cards, but at the same time, inviting also to the lightness. Take take things lightly. Uh, don't um, don't think everything in serious matter a manner. Um, remember your dreams. Um, get inspira inspired. Um, and they they are all women and young women, and they are all facing this side. Which, I mean, aside from this one, <laughs> was facing the, the top. But they are all facing the right side, which might see the future or go to the future or move to uh, forward. Um, and the, I I love these two cards also, the King of Swords, which is a woman and the the word these two cards are beautiful i really love them and for me they they remind us of this cosmic you see them big they are filling all the cards right instead of the other scenes where you might see uh, more elements uh, and these two cards are really about you feel the presence of bigger beings bigger understanding of things um cosmic events um so th the way this deck um talks to me in a way it is really an invitation an invitation to um reconnect with the truth of who we are and there is an invitation to move forward definitely i wouldn't say that this deck is mm, necessarily for shadow work for me or for uh, exploring the the wounds uh, in in a profound way it's more of a deck to move uh, there's a lot of imagination so there's a lot of creativity inside uh, there is also a lot of um, connection to uh, you know um, all other beings uh, cosmic beings I would say the plants also very present and also there is it's turned towards the future it's turned towards um optimism um towards the projects of the future uh what are you building what are you creating in this world um how you, are you approaching your projects and your your creative life um so yeah let me check if i have forgotten some points because there are um, some elements I wanted to not forget. Mm, yeah, I talked about fantasy, not logic, the eyes in the body, the machine inside the body. <laughs> uh, define define any any logic in it. Um, yeah, the the last element I would probably talk about is the uh, are the colors uh, because you know you will see that these the colors that are mostly present in this deck are the blue which again uh, reminds us of the element of the air and water there is the green side which reminds us of the uh, nature element however i wouldn't call it an earthy deck um, and there is the um, white element in some cards which is quite present the white is quite present reminding us of the purity uh, or the uh, innocence and the optimism also that we can have you will see it here in the full in the dress um, there is the rose rose you will find a lot of rose um, red violet purple color and um, and this for me it reminds me of the you know the the, the desire to move forward the passion uh, and what I'm, I'm listening to having having colors of life or um, a colorful life which is filled with emotions uh, in that regard so yeah so I, I wanted to this video to be short just to give you a glimpse of uh, of the cards and um, I'll end with this card that some of the participants found really weird I don't know there is uh, one of the participants was talking about a movie frightening movie <laughs> um, and, and uh, we were talking about the cards that we don't we don't like or like least uh, and uh, one of them for me is this one 
this one is okay you don't need not that much but there are some cards that feel like really lit anyway um and one of my favorite cards more than me alice in wonderland anyway i just wanted to um share with you how you can explore a deck and understand its spirit according to what it comes with it right it's one of the strategies i use and you can check um, other videos i did like this with the hush tarot uh, for example um, and there are other things that we have learned but uh, wanting to keep this video short i would love to know what you thought about it what you have seen from the cards if this video spoke to you in some way and um yeah if you have this deck how how it speaks to you in what field uh, it, it it speaks to you in you know um for example its speciality um for me you know i talked about some of the specialities but when i explored this with the, with the book one of it was uh, to help me share some knowledge to gather people to help create space where uh, we are open to receive and so on and this is what i'm doing through this video so I thank this deck for coming to my life. I thank you for watching and I hope to see you soon for another video. Bye-bye.